In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite zones in Madden 21, how to use it, what it does, and what you need to know about it. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways we do that is through basically giving you guys videos every day on YouTube that are designed to give share with you some things that we're learning, some things that may be helpful to you. And so if you are um, looking to get better at the game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Alright guys, so I am super jacked to talk about this today. This is my favorite zone in the game. This is straight out of the 335 wide ebook, which you can get in the description if you want to get the full scheme. But this is the introduction or the guide to the seam flat zone and what it does and kind of how it works. And what we're going to do is we're going to be showing this um, in particularly against Trips Tied In today. Um, or I'm sorry, not Trips Tied In. We're going to be showing it against Bunch um, today. I've got, I think I got the New York Jets playbook uh, booted up here. So I wanted to talk through some things that I've been uh, seeing from there. Um, and so I'm actually really, really excited to dive in. So the first thing that we're going to do is kind of set some audibles here. Um, but what I want to talk about is how does this zone work and how you can get it okay so first and foremost if you're running the 335 wide ebook um, which is in the description it's my full 335 wide ebook that's just 15 bucks in the description what we're going to show you today is an excerpt from it because and we're going to talk a little bit about defense a little bit differently i do want to hit on some things that i've some comments that i've received recently um, but if you want the 335 wide defense it is in the description now, if you have any questions about this video, I want you to text me. My number is in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Um, I put it there for you guys so you can have access to that. And you can ask me any Madden question that you want. You also get free schemes every week sent to your phone. And this week, we're actually working on our 335 uh, normal for the text membership. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to specifically talk about defense from, uh, philosophically for just a second and why the 335 wide is so powerful. Um, philosophically, defense is a little bit different than offense, okay? Offensively, um, and, and offense is even becoming a little bit similar to this, but defense does not have, it, it doesn't have as many things that you can do on defense that you can do on offense. What I mean by that is you can only put, like, from through your hot routes, you can, you, it's not like you're going to get a zone, very rarely will you get a zone in a play that you can't then create yourself, okay? So, for example, if I were to go to 335 normal cover three sky, okay? You see that these, uh, basically, I have curl flats and hook curls. If I pull up the audibles for the middle linebacker, I can put him in a hook curl. I can put him in a curl flat. I can put him in a hard flat, all right? That's, that's kind of the thinking behind it. The one zone that you really can't create um, on the field, at least in my opinion, is the quarter flat zone. Um, the quarter flat zone is the one that you can't create. The beauty of 335 wide is that you can create every zone, um, in my opinion, that you really need. You can create quarter, um, or I'm not quarter flats, the, the zone we're going to talk about today, I can audible, so I can go, um, I can double tap on the left D-pad uh, twice uh, to the right. Uh, so double tap the right button on the left D-pad twice, and it's going to pull up this. I can click on Adrian Amos, which is the square button, and then you see here, by clicking up on the left joystick, I can put him into a seam flat, okay? Same thing on the right side. I can double tap that right on the left D-pad, and then I click X for the X icon, which is Will Redman, hit up on the D-pad, and voila, he's in a seam flat as well now. And I can do this all throughout. So, like, if I want to take my slot corner, same thing. I can put him on a seam flat, a curl flat, a hard, vertical hook, or a hard flat. Now, if I'm on a middle linebacker, this is the thing that's different. I can put him on a middle third. The problem is this year, middle thirds aren't that great. Um, I like put it, it used to be the thing. Like, you used to be able to do this. You could put your middle linebacker on a middle third, and then you could put your safeties in yellow zones. The problem is now... Um, with how things have been working the last couple of uh, patches, the middle thirds just don't do a very good job. Um, and you'll see like right here even, and I mean they are going to match him, but that's, you know, 
you 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 can bait you can glitch that out. I mean, there, there's definitely there's definitely things you can do um, to to take care of that. But the reason that I'm bringing up the seam flat and what I want to really dive into is what it does and why it does it. But that's that's why I like three three five wide, um, and that's why I really think three three five wide is the best defense in the game because. It, do, it allows you to be very creative. You're not just running cover three every play, right? You're running cover three with adjustments. You're running cover four with adjustments. Qu quarters, cover three, cover two, man, cover zero. There's so many things you can do. The difference between it is offense sometimes has routes that do that. Defense has adjustments that do that. So that's just a little bit about that, a little bit of higher level stuff. But again, let's dive into the seam flat and uh, talk a little bit about why I like it so much. So the first thing that I like about it, um, and you don't even have to set, you don't even have to set your zone drops for this, okay? That's what I like about this zone. So um, the first thing that I like about seam flats is that they will oftentimes match onto players. So for example, one of my favorite tactics is to put two seam flats out there and to put two vertical hooks. So you'll see something like this, um, and, and, and what I would do is take that slot corner and put him in a seam flat, right? Or even the linebacker. I mean, it could, you could flip them if you wanted to, but the gist of it is a seam flat and a vertical hook on the same side um, is what I'm getting at. Now, from a bunch perspective, I'm going to move the ball to the left side here, and I want to talk a little bit about some routes that this is going to be good against and, and what it does. So a seam flat, basically what it does, in a nutshell, is it plays seam to flat, okay, seam to flat. My new favorite defense, at least so far in the last couple weeks, or last couple days, has been to use these seam flats and vertical hooks in combination with one another. You'll find this creates a very nice and very unique match defense. Seam flats match onto players really, really well because they match vertical routes. So, for example, um, Z-Spot, this is a very popular concept. Okay, um, I'm just going to do it kind of the meta way, and then we're going to talk about it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to run the play, and then we're going to just kind of watch how this plays. So if you watch what the seam flat does there, it bumps it, and then as you see there, it goes to the it goes to the flat. It plays seam to flat. It bumps the vertical route, and then it goes to the flat. The reason this is like really, really good, let me show you a, let me show you a, a, a simple example, and then we'll, we'll jump into the replay here. But I just want to go to five wide just for a second, and I want you to show why this is really good out of a cover three. So if you have a cover three, um, I would recommend running seam flat. So for example, you see right here, this is what we're going to get. And what I'm going to simply do is go into a cover four. You see what that does is it's going to put both linebackers over the receivers um, in this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put seam flats out there on both sides. Watch the, what the seam flats do to the vertical route. They match it, okay? You see that triangle receiver match the vertical route, and now you can't throw seams. That's what's so good about this play. They, they, they basically play deep to short, which is really, really good in the big picture of things. Now, one other thing that I want to hit on out of the Mike Blitz is let's say um, let's say let's say we do a vertical hook and a seam flat, but we flip them. So we put the vertical hook to the linebacker and the seam flat to the outside guy. You're going to notice this plays different. It will play different depending on how you do it. Now that corner route is still open, but I do want to hit on a little bit. So let's talk about another play that's really popular from Gun Bunch, uh, real quick. Let's talk about the play uh, Flood. To me, Flood is the best play in Bunch. I think Flood is the best play in the Gun Bunch. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that same strategy where we're going to put two vertical hooks and then we're going to put two seam flats. As you can see right here, all I have to do is vertical hook both guys. I already have seam flats out there. And I just want you to watch how this plays. What you'll notice is that seam flat will basically drift to the flat after he does the bump. Now, if you do zone drops, obviously he'll drop back to a specific depth. But the beauty of it is, is that you get, he does get that jam. Now, I want to show you one other thing that you could do from this. Let's say that you play, um, let's say that you swip them, uh, swap them again. So you have a vertical hook, you have a seam flat, and then you have your, your other zones, and they run the play flood. Now, watch what happens. Now, bump, and now look at them play, right? Now, again, they, do, they don't really get to where we, we need them to get, but... What I think you could actually do, and think through this for a second with me, um, let's say we went to Mike Blitz 3. 
And let's say that we wanted to stop, um, let's say we wanted to stop Z-Spot, okay? This is, to me, the hardest play to stop out of bunch. So if I wanted to stop Z-Spot out of this, one of the things that unfortunately is happening is that the outside zone to um, Alexander doesn't play properly. This is why I like to use Cover 4 Show 2. So Cover 4 Show 2, this is now going to play quarter coverage. But what I like to do is basically re-hot route seam flats on the field. And now what you'll see is this play is completely taken away. You see you get matched and it gets picked off. The beauty of the seam flats is they always play seam to flat. So what it forces the offense to do is to force the offense to have flat zones on the field. If the offense doesn't have flat zones on the field, so let me let me show you an example of something that might be the case. Um, I think it's uh, let's let's go play flood, and we're just gonna just to illustrate this because it would be a it would be something like this right here, but this this combination right here, I want you to see this. So again, we're in we're in um, Mike Blitz three. And we're just going to put two vertical hooks out there. And I want you to watch now. Watch what the seam flat does now. Now, because there's no flat zone underneath, he drifts back and takes the zone, takes the, takes the play away. The other thing is that these zones also play a little bit differently, whether they're in 2x2 two two or 3x1. That's another thing, another factor that you have to realize. So, for example, let's say that... Um, Let's say that we were trying to stop Crow Flat Corner, okay, uh, or Z Spot, whatever it's called, right? And let's say that we did this, but we motioned and created a two by two look. So now it's basically gun doubles, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our vertical hooks out there, and I want you to watch what happens now. Now the corner route gets matched by the seam flat. You see that? The reason this is really good is it's really good for people that like to motion and and, and do that because these zones will match if there's nothing underneath holding them. Now, if there's something underneath holding them, that's one thing. But why this matters for like a quarters coverage, let's say they're running quarters coverage or you're, you're, you're trying to get something to work well um, out of this. Let's say that I run flood, okay, from quarters, but I block the tight end and I block the running back. Let's just say I do that. Now what you're gonna notice is these quarters, this is typically a quarter beater. Um, but now what you're going to notice is it's not going to be quarters as easily. So you should see, you know, again, seam flats. I like to have two vertical hooks and two seam flats. So, for example, you would do something like that right there, and now you've got your, your combination. But if you take a look at the play here, about as scantling, now your, your out route's no longer open. No longer open at all, okay? So that's kind of the, the, the magic of the seam flats. They play different than curl flats. Um, there's obviously more to them than just this, but the biggest thing that I want you to take away is that these seam flats will play the seam streaks relatively well. So um, another thing you could do, let's say you're from Gun Bunch, and let's say that I um, let's say that I motion this over, right? I'm trying to I'm trying to get up the seam. Maybe I'm in the red zone, you know? I don't know, but I'm trying to get up the seam. Watch the seam flat play it, right? He was right in the area. He didn't pick it, but he's in the area. Okay, um, so just you know, realize these seam flats are super underrated. Is all I'm trying to get at. Um, another thing that I think is actually relatively underrated. Let me show you this real quick. Um, let's say that we played like that coverage with hook curls. The buzz coverage is actually, I think, relatively good. I don't know if this will stop Z spot or not. I just want you to watch the adjustment though. He doesn't match onto him, unfortunately, because it's a three by one. But against a two by two set, he would match him um, re really, really easily. So um, when you're playing, and I find these zones most used uh, are most useful um, just as something to really work with the underneath stuff. Okay. Now let's say that you're playing. Um, let's say that you're playing somebody who likes to run a lot of. Um, oh gosh, what am I thinking? Um, he likes to run a lot of flood. The vertical hooks actually aren't too bad either. So you could do something like this. You go flood, see how the vertical hook kind of sits in things, and then you can use curl flats to drop back into that one area of the field. Those are some other tactics that you can use. Um, but anyways, seam flats are super, super underrated. I think that more people should run them. Um, they're really good. It, it, the other thing is that these zones actually play a little bit differently when you use them in zone drops too. So seam flats are going to do a good job um, from a zone drops perspective because 
because they've given their name, they play seam to flat. So they're going to start in the middle. They're not going to jump out super quick. The reason that matters is those seam streaks. Again, when you stop doing zone drops, people will throw seam streaks on you. Um, and what that seam flat's going to be able to do, even if it's on a zone drop of 25 yards, it's going to play inside to outside, inside to outside. It's going to take that streak before it takes the um, before it takes the five yard out route. That's the pull route. So. Anyway, I just think these zones are really, really good. You'll find they just do some really, really good stuff for you. So I'd encourage you to start running these if you haven't already. There's obviously more to learn about them and learn about how they work, but this is just a starting point. Um, this was something that Yashi and I had labbed up uh, a ton. They will play like, like they will play really, really well against crossing routes, corner routes, things like that. Um, they don't always intercept it, but they will surprise you in how they play. So. Anyways, try them out if you're not already using seam flats. I think they're the best purple zone in the game. So just test those out. Let me know what you think. We go through in the ebook a complete defense that's based around this zone. So if you do want to get the full defensive ebook, that is available in the description. It's just 15 bucks. Shows you how to blitz, stop the run, stop on the red zone. Um, and it also shows you some different adjustments that you can use against different meta formations like bunch, trip tight end, strong close, bunch tight end. Uh, spread all those different types of things so thanks for watching this video again if you want to get a sample to that ebook all you got to do is text me my number is 812-216-3644 we've got an hour long sample video um, of the defense that kind of shares some of the core philosophy shares some of the introductory material as well um, that can really kind of get you started so if you want to check that out that's completely free for you. Um, all you got to do is just text me and I'll shoot you the link to the video. Thanks for your time and we'll see you tonight on stream.